This ebook is brought to you by Agenvard 1998. Dynamics of Personality. In this section on the dynamics of personality, we look at Jung's ideas on causality and teleology and on progression and regression. Causality and teleology. Does motivation spring from past causes or from teleological goals? Jung insisted that it comes from both. Causality holds that present events have their origin in previous experiences. Freud relied heavily on a causal viewpoint in his explanations of adult behavior in terms of early childhood experiences. Jung criticized Freud for being one-sided in his emphasis on causality and insisted that a causal view could not explain all motivation. Conversely, teleology holds that present events are motivated by goals and aspirations for the future that direct a person's destiny. Adler held this position, insisting that people are motivated by conscious and unconscious perceptions of fictional final goals. Jung was less critical of Adler than of Freud, but he insisted that human behavior is shaped by both causal and teleological forces and that causal explanations must be balanced with teleological ones. Jung's insistence on balance is seen in his conception of dreams. He agreed with Freud that many dreams spring from past events, that is, they are caused by earlier experiences. On the other hand, Jung claimed that some dreams can help a person make decisions about the future. Just as dreams of making important discoveries in the natural sciences eventually led to his own career choice. Progression and Regression To achieve self-realization, people must adapt not only to their outside environment but to their inner world as well. Adaptation to the outside world involves the forward flow of psychic energy and is called progression. Whereas adaptation to the inner world relies on a backward flow of psychic energy and is called regression. Both progression and regression are essential if people are to achieve individual growth or self-realization. Progression inclines a person to react consistently to a given set of environmental conditions, whereas regression is a necessary backward step in the successful attainment of a goal. Regression activates the unconscious psyche, an essential aid in the solution of most problems. Alone, neither progression nor regression leads to development. Either can bring about too much one-sidedness and failure in adaptation, but the two, working together, can activate the process of healthy personality development. Regression is exemplified in Jung's midlife crisis, during which time his psychic life was turned inward toward the unconscious and away from any significant outward accomplishments. He spent most of his energy becoming acquainted with his unconscious psyche and did little in the way of writing or lecturing. Regression dominated his life while progression nearly ceased. Subsequently, he emerged from this period with a greater balance of the psyche and once again became interested in the extrovert world. However, his regressive experiences with the introverted world had left him permanently and profoundly changed. Jung believed that the regressive step is necessary to create a balanced personality and to grow toward self-realization.